Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another teacher vlog for you all. It is June 6th, Tuesday, and no we are not in school anymore, but I thought I still wanted to do some vlogs this summer because that's kind of what gets the most hits on my YouTube channel. Um, a lot of you seem to like my vlogs better than anything else. So that is what I am deciding to do for you all today and I wanted to do like a haul I have some stuff I got from teachers pay teachers I want to share with you some stuff from Target I want to share with you Michaels um things like that so I decided I would come in here kind of show you what's going on in my classroom share my exciting news and then also show you all of the new goodies that I have gotten because I'm super excited about them and I think that you guys are going to like them as well my exciting news though, I was thinking and I was like, you know what, it might not be exciting for some people. So I was kind of like, uh oh, I hope that they're not like, oh my gosh, what the heck, this isn't exciting. <laughs> um, but for me, it's super exciting, especially if you've been watching my YouTube channel um, since I first started, which was not long ago, but it was like three months ago. But since I, like my very first teacher video, if you've been watching since then, then you kind of know um, how I have felt about teaching and how I have felt about kindergarten and what I've always thought about it and things like that. So um, you'll kind of understand why it's exciting for me if you have watched me for that long, which it's not even a long time. I'm acting like it's been years, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to start off with the haul first because I have all of my stuff like here around me and it's kind of just cluttering and I kind of want to just get it and show you guys and then put it to the side. Now, some of the stuff for my Teachers Pay Teachers haul, I actually can't really show you yet until I share my exciting news. So after I'm done showing everything that I can show you, I will tell you the exciting news and then I will show you my stuff that I can actually show you. I feel like I'm making no sense right now, but you'll understand once I get to that point. Alrighty, so let's start from Target. Um, and again, this is going to kind of be all over the place. It's just a casual vlog. So from Target, throw away this. I got this little carrier, which I feel like everybody has. I actually got this in April, kind of when like uh, Easter was happening because I really liked this color and I wanted this color to kind of be like a prime color in my classroom next year so I thought that this was super cute I could put like dry erase markers in it or something like that I then got two baskets which I don't they're called they're waste baskets so technically they're like trash cans but I'm not going to use them as trash cans I don't really know what I'm going to use them for if I can get them out there we go so I got another like mint color one, slash teal, whatever you want to call it. Just looks like this, super cute. And then I got just a plain white one. So I'm not really sure, like I said, what I'm going to use these for. Obviously, I will find something to use them, like some, I cannot speak today. Wow, already starting off on a bad foot. Obviously, I'll find some place to put them and something to use them for. I'm just not sure what yet. But I thought they were really cute. They were... Let's see, these were in the dollar spot and they were three dollars. And then this was a dollar. So one dollar for this, three dollars, and three dollars. So six dollars for both of these. And yeah, I really like them. I'm not going to use them as a trash can though, I will tell you that because I already have like three or four trash cans in my room and I don't need them. So we'll find a cute place for these. I'm just not sure what yet. The next thing I got, I have had my eye on for a really long time. I could not find the silver, and I'm a silver person. I'm not like a huge fan of gold, so I couldn't find the silver though. So I had to go ahead and get gold, but it's just this banner that says yay. It's one of those like balloon banners that teachers have been putting in their classrooms. I think it's super cute to put like underneath your um, dry erase board. I'll show you. So I think it's super cute to like put it right here. I've seen some teachers do that and I thought that that looked really cute. Um, I don't know. I've also seen teachers, I don't know. I've also seen teachers like put them above their dry erase boards on a bulletin board, things like that. 
so we will see what I'm gonna do with it I'm not sure yet I'm thinking below the dry erase board but I'm not 100% sure um, but I'm excited to kind of open this up and see how big it truly is because I've only seen pictures of them and I think it'll look really cute in the classroom even though I really wish it was silver but I could not find silver and I didn't know how long they would have them for because you know the target dollar spot like you it's there for like a week and then you go back and it's like not there so I wanted to be safe just to make sure I got one and this was how much was this this one was actually five dollars so in the target dollar spot I'm sure you all know this but it's either like one dollar to up to five dollars normally it's not more than five dollars so this one was the pricier one but it was five dollars and then let's see I also got this from the target dollar spot I think I did yeah and it was three dollars and it's just this little like shadow box type canvas thing and it has glitter on the side I thought that was really cute it says you are smart you are amazing you are inspiring you are brave you are loved so I'm going to put this somewhere in my classroom next year I thought that it was really cute and just fitting for what I um, believe my students to be so I really like this sorry if I'm like talking quiet there's like a lot of teachers here right now and um, I don't want to be too loud and then think I'm weird because I'm like talking to myself. Ew, my ring needs like completely. All right. I also got this from the Target dollar spot. Um, it is $5 and it's actually there right now. But I thought this would be cute somewhere in my classroom. And this little heart is actually a pin and you can pin it off and put it like what state you live in. So if you live in Florida you would like put it over here like the heart over here so I thought this was super cute and I don't know I think that it'll be really cute on my ledge over here so I don't know if you've ever seen my ledge but I have like this ledge with a cushion and it's my reading area and I thought that I always put pillows up here or I, I feel like I feel like I'm acting like I've been teaching for forever <laughs> I put pillows on here this year and I want to put pillows on here next year too so I thought this one would be cute right here if I just put the heart in the Indiana spot and then yeah I thought it was cute so this is like for their fourth of July stuff so I know that they still have it right now it's probably gonna be gone soon though they had a lot of different kinds so if you think this is cute or you want it for your classroom I would go get it now because it's awesome the next thing I got are just these medium binder clips so um, the reason I got these, I didn't really use these that much this year, like for my first year of teaching, but I watched, my camera was like shaking, I watched Pocketful of Primary, um, Michelle Ferre, if you don't know her, go check her out, she's seriously amazing, which I'm sure you do, because she's, I think she has like, I don't even know, like 35,000 subscribers, she's gotten really, really big recently, but what she does is she uses these a lot to like put her papers that she's going to grade in order, and I always just use paper clips and things like that but I thought that these would be a little bit more sturdy and kind of hold them together a little bit better so I decided to get a pack and I'm going to try it out like the first couple of weeks of school and if I like it then I'm going to get more but I just wanted to get one pack right now and they're like blue and gray and polka dot and they're super cute there's only 10 in here but I thought that they were really cute the next thing I got since you know my theme is kind of like mint slash teal I had to get it I saw it and I was like I fell in love but it is just like a mint color tape dispenser I'm super excited to put this on my desk I think it's cute and my tape dispenser right now is like a flower one and it keeps falling over because there's glue on the bottom of it because they made me like a supply cake for my graduation party so there's glue on the bottom of it and I love it but I cannot get the glue off so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get a new one this year and I decided to go with the mint one because I love that color it's like my favorite color if you can't tell all right I think we're getting in to the Michaels stuff now which is the exciting part because I got some fun things from Michaels so first thing I got which is so random but I love it it is this cute watermelon mason jar I seriously love this I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use it for but I figured I could use it for something in my classroom I was thinking about having a VIP table next year 
which if you don't know what that is, it's basically just like a table for a VIP that you pick that week or that day. And it's somebody that kind of did the right thing and they get to use all these cool fun supplies. So I was thinking about having this at that table and putting some of the supplies in here. I think it would make it look cute and fun. But I really thought this was so cute and I love watermelon. So I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot pass this up. So just a cute little mason jar. The next thing I got is, oh, and this mason jar, let's see, this mason jar was $9.99. Don't ask me why I paid $9.99 for this, but I did. <laughs> the next thing I got is this tissue tassel garland that everybody has, not everybody, but a lot of people have in their rooms, and I saw it from Michaels, and I know a lot of people make them for super cheap, but I bought this one for $9.99 as well, and I was like, you know what? I don't have time to make it. I know it's so much cheaper to make it, but I saw it there and I decided to get it. I th I'm thinking I'm going to put it like on my desk, just make it hang on my desk somewhere. I think that'll be super cute. And I loved the colors of this one. There's orange and gold and green and blue and pink. So I thought the colors were super cute in this and I'm really excited to decorate my room with this next year. The next thing I got is a decoration for my um, desk. So. My desk this year, if you watched me, if you watched my vlogs at all, was so messy all of the time. And I'm so done with being disorganized and things like that. I've told you guys before I want to get better at it. I'm going to really try this year to get better at it. So um, I decided I want to have like just a clean workspace. Like I don't want to have papers everywhere. I don't want to have um, those Sterlite, what are they called? Like those Sterlite containers. I have them right here. Let me show you don't want to have like those all over my desk like some people do I know it's for organization but I just don't want it I want to have a clean desk work area like literally I'll show you what my desk looks like right now in just a minute and that's kind of how I want to stay obviously I will have like my pens and stuff on top and I wanted to have this on it because I thought it looked super clean but I got it from Michaels and it was 50% off so it ended up being $25 which I know it's kind of a lot too but you know Michaels is expensive and I don't know, I just thought that it would look super clean on a clean desk with not much clutter and just look really nice. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like over there on a clean desk, because my desk is super clean right now. So this is my desk right now, really clean, not much on it, besides like my phone and my little picture over here and the thank you note. But I don't know, I felt like if I have like my pins right here and then this on it as well, it would just look really clean and nice and so that's what I plan to do I think that this is really cute and just kind of I don't know it makes me happy so I'm gonna leave that on there right now but I think it's really cute again it was from Michaels it was marked $50 but it was 50 per, or 50 percent yeah it was 50 percent off it was 50 percent off so i only paid 25 dollars for it which again i know that is like super small to pay 25 dollars for but i like it and again it made me happy so i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna go for it the next thing i got is also for michael's actually the last thing i got before i share my exciting news with you all and it is a oh, and it is a Polaroid camera and film. So you may be thinking, what does that have to do with your classroom, Kayla? Well, I will tell you what it has to do with my classroom right after I share my exciting news with you because I plan to use this in my classroom a lot next year. And you will find out how and why. I thought the color was super cute. There was a mint colored one. But I didn't want to be like too, like have everything in there mint colored. So I decided to go with this green color because I thought it was pretty neutral. It kind of goes like girls and boys like it. So um, I'm going to share with you why I got this. Actually, I think in like just one second. Oh wait, no, I have one more thing to share with you. And then I'm going to tell you why I got this and explain to you what I plan to do with my classroom next year. And that was, that was obviously on the pricier side, 
I don't even know. I don't have that receipt with me, but I think it was, it was on sale actually. I think it was like 40% off, but I think I ended up paying like maybe 110 for it. And then the film is obviously really expensive, which if you didn't know that film is so expensive for Polaroid cameras. So I recommend getting it when it is 40% off from Michaels because it's so expensive. Or I don't know, you probably can get it off of Amazon. That would be a good place to look for it. But now on to like my most exciting purchase in my opinion. I got it back yet because it's huge. Is this three tier rolling cart. So who has seen these on Pinterest and you just die over them because you think they're amazing looking? Well, yeah, that's me. And I thought it would be perfect to sit right next to my teacher table and kind of just have like my guided reading materials in there and just anything that I need for my teacher table that week pretty much. Um, dry erase markers, pens, pencils, like literally anything you can imagine that you need. And then I, it rolls, which I really like. So if I need to like roll it over to my desk because I need something out of it, I can just take it with me rather than having to pick it up and put it where it's supposed to go. So super cute. I'm going to turn you around so I can show you what it looks like. And it also is like the minty color. This one's kind of more of like a aqua color. It's like blue green. Not as much mint as the other things I showed you, but I am so excited about this. I have been looking for these forever and people told me you can only get them from, um, what did I say? Ikea. So I was like searching Ikea for it. Could not find it anywhere. And then I went to Michael's one day just to get some stuff. Literally found this and I about died because I was so excited and I don't know. I just love how it looks. So like I will have what are they? I will have, let me show you, these, a lot of these in here, like actually in the cart holding my stuff so that it's kind of organized, but it's not really focusing. There we go. It's focused now. But I thought this was super cute and I have had my eye on it ever since I saw one off of Pinterest. They have them at Michael's right now, so if you want one, I recommend going there and getting them because they're really hard to find once they all become gone. So, yeah. So excited for this purchase. So this is my haul. A lot of, there's my drink. <laughs> but a lot of random different things that I wanted to share with you. Kind of more decoration things. But I also have some TPT sources that I want to share with you as well. I just have to share my exciting news with you first. So, who's ready to hear the exciting news? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. So, if you have watched me from the very beginning of my teaching video, sorry, then you would know that I have always told you guys that kindergarten just wasn't for me. It's not in my heart. It's not where I see myself forever. And it's just something that I knew I didn't want to do for the rest of my life, but I did want to try it out. So, when I got offered this job, the kindergarten job, I, I, you know, I was like, you know what, it's a job, I don't want to, it was the district I wanted to, so I'm in the district, I like my dream district, and so when they offered me the kindergarten position, I told them, I said, look, my, like, my heart is in the older grade levels, and the, my principal said, well, you know, this is all I have, so if you want it, take it, and there's a good chance you can move different grade levels next year, even if it's within the district. If you um, don't want it, you just want to keep searching, just let me know so I can try and find our next candidate. So, you know, I thought about it. I talked to my mom. I talked to just different people in my family, and they all told me, you know, it's a job, and you're not guaranteed that you're going to get offered another job. So I was like, that kind of put it into perspective for me. So I was like, you know what? You're right. I need to take it. It's in the district I want. Um, district is more important than grade level, in my opinion, because you can get where you want to be. Um, like if you're in a school you want, you're going to be happier, even if you're not in the grade level you want, because you can eventually switch grade levels, like I said. So with that being said, I have always told you guys, my heart is in the older grade levels. I really love third, fourth, and fifth grade. I student taught in third. Third is like one of my favorite grade levels. I love the curriculum in third, but with that being said, I am switching grade levels and I have a new classroom. I am so, so excited to share this with you guys. Now, before I tell you what grade level, because I'm going to actually go down and show you the classroom and then tell you what grade level it is for, but um, 
I just wanted to tell you guys, I know a lot of you watch me that are preschool teachers or want to be early childhood or you want to be a kindergarten teacher. And I just wanted to say, like, I hope that me moving grade levels doesn't affect how you feel about watching my channel because I'm not going to be in kindergarten anymore. I hope that you still kind of support me and enjoy my channel because I'm going to have a lot of new ideas. Now that I have my heart in the grade level that I've been wanting, I feel like I'm going to be even a better YouTuber as well because I'm going to have a lot more ideas for you all. So um, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I personally feel like I just... My heart wasn't in it this year. I love, love, loved my class. Like, they were amazing. I just felt like, I mean, I don't have fun teaching 2 plus 2 and A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like, that's not fun to me. I enjoy the age level of kindergartners. They're so fun. They're so sassy. They're so, so adorable. But, like I said, it just wasn't for me. And if something's not for you, you just kind of got to, you got to do what's best for you. So, when I got asked if I wanted to move grade levels and what grade level it was for. I completely jumped on it. I was a little skeptical because I do love my kindergarten team, but I also like this team as well. So I was like, you know what? I just need to do what's best for me, and I think this is going to be what's best for me. So like I said, a lot of you are early childhood teachers or want to be, um, or even like a kindergarten teacher or first, first grade. And I just wanted to say that I hope that you guys can support me, and I hope that you still enjoy watching my videos because, like I said, I'm going to have better YouTube videos for you all because I'm in the grade level that I think I can really rock at, if that makes sense, not to be conceited, but I just felt like I didn't, I wasn't used to my, I didn't, how do I put this? I wasn't doing my full potential because I wasn't 100% happy, if that makes sense. And that's, I know that's not a good thing, but if I'm just being honest and transparent with you guys. So... Now that I'm in a grade level that I'm seriously so excited about, I am really excited to share with you guys my new ideas and how my classroom's gonna look. I'm about to show you my empty new classroom and tell you what grade level it's for. And then I hope to do kind of like a series here on my channel of every time I come in and decorate or put something up, I share with you guys what it is, who the resource is from, and what I plan to do with it. So that'll be exciting. Be looking forward to more vlogs coming up because I am going to do like a classroom um, series kind of for you all. Not really sure what I'm going to call it yet or if I'm going to call it anything, but I thought I would share that with you. Uh, what I also was going to say is um, just kind of a little bit of advice for you all. I am 100% glad and so happy that I did kindergarten because kindergarten is such a unique grade level to teach. I mean, you really are their foundation to learning. I mean, I know a lot of them have been to preschool, which I actually had quite a few who hadn't been to preschool, but like if you think about it, you are starting their learning for the rest of their whole elementary career. And it's just kind of cool to think like you are setting that boundary. Are they gonna love school or are they gonna hate it? If you're that kind of teacher that is amazing, you're positive, which I 100% tried to be, um, they're going to end up loving school. But if you're kind of like that mean teacher that isn't, you know what I mean, you know what I'm trying to say, then they're going to, that's going to set them up for first grade and they're not going to be excited. So it was just really cool to see where their learning really took place at, where it all started. That is something that I absolutely loved about kindergarten. Another thing I loved about kindergarten is they cannot read when they came in this classroom. When they stepped foot in this classroom, they could not read. They were reading like book like chapter books like I had two students reading um at a second grade level thir some of them I think one was a third grade level but it was just really cool because when they came in they didn't know how to do that and so I'm like you know what that is it's so cool in kindergarten to see their growth I feel like kindergarten and first grade you see the most growth out of your students which is probably one of the coolest part of parts about teaching the um primary grade levels because you do see so much growth rather than if you're in third, fourth, or fifth. I mean, you still see growth, but you don't see as much as if you do if you're in kindergarten or first. So that was something really cool. And I also wanted to say, who knows, I may be back in kindergarten one day. Um, it is my goal to teach two or three years of every grade level. I have no clue if that'll happen, but I think it would be really cool just to say that I've done it. So if I do want to accomplish that goal, obviously I would have to come back to kindergarten for two more years um, at one point or another. But 
we will see if i end up loving this grade level that i'm in and i just don't see myself anywhere else then obviously i will just stay here but we will see it, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes I am so excited to tell you what grade level I'm in. I feel like you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, just say it already. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you down to my new classroom, show you what it looks like with nothing in it, and then tell you the grade level. Hey! All righty. So here is my new classroom. which obviously I'm going to have to clean a lot of it out because none of these books are mine, but some of them I may keep just because they may be grade level appropriate. We will see. Here's cubbies. There's the front door. And this is what it looks like from the cubbies. Pretty decent size, two bulletin boards my desk so what I plan to do all right so what I plan to do is every time I come into my new classroom I want to um, like if say I'm putting something up on the walls I want to show you what it is what resource it is where it came from and then show you me putting it up even if it's like a five minute video I think that that would be super beneficial for you guys so that at the end when I plan to do a full classroom tour, um, instead of telling you where everything's from because Lord knows I will not remember, you guys can just go back to my mini, my like my mini series and see where everything was from. So I think that that'll be a really fun series to do this summer because I will be in here a lot just figuring out where things are going to go. I really like how it has, this is random, but I really like how it has the purple accent. Right now I have a blue accent. So, if you see the purple over there, instead of it being, well, instead of it being blue, I like that. But I thought that this would be a good way to really show you guys what I'm putting in my classroom. And just kind of like, I don't know, taking you along on this journey with me. Because I am teaching, drum roll please. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Fifth grade. I didn't know that it already had my name on it. That kind of makes it like so much more real. But I'm teaching fifth grade. So I am moving from kindergarten to fifth grade. Literally a huge jump, but I could not be more thrilled. I could not be more excited to share this journey with you guys. Um, like I kind of said before, I feel like I'm going to have even, I feel like I'm gonna have more, why am I not focused? Sorry, I wasn't focused for some reason, I don't think. But I just feel like I'm going to have even better videos for you all. And I, that's what I'm most excited about is to share this journey with you and share my ideas because I have so many ideas for the upper grade levels that I'm excited for and, then, and excited to incorporate and share with you guys. So, like I said, I'm teaching fifth grade. Now I can go show you some of my TPT sources that I've already printed out and I'm already got ready. So. Having that name up there, having my name up there kind of made it a lot more real. I didn't even know my name was up there. I just thought I was gonna say fifth grade. Whoa, I feel so weird. I feel good, but it's just, I feel weird. I don't know, it's gonna be so different. The cool part is I could have some of my kindergartners in four years. That'd be pretty cool. But like I said, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. Um, it's gonna be a lot different, but I think that it's going to be a good different. So, Here's, my gosh, I have five this close. Here is my desk. It looks exactly the same as um, my kindergarten desk. And then here's the room from my desk. So there's cubbies. So super excited. Now you guys have seen a... 
So now you all have seen like a before of my room. So I think that that'll be cool to kind of show you the after as well. So like I said, I'll be doing a mini series here on my channel and I'm super pumped for it. I think that you guys will like it as well. Um, so let me like, let me give you an example. So let me show you guys an example. Say I decide to put something on this wall right here. What I will do is I will literally bring my camera in, show you the resource, tell you where it's from, and then show you me putting it up. And I know I've said this like three times, but I just want to make it clear. So I wanted to get, ask you guys for your advice. Let me set you down. I'm like really far back. If you have any um, suggestions on what this like summer series could be called, please let me know. Or if you think I should just call it like, or just do vlogs, like literally just do vlogs and show you what I'm putting up. Or if you think you have, I can, I cannot talk. Sorry. Or if you kind of have like a cool name for it that you think would be fun to call it, let me know that, that as well and I'll just kind of pick my favorite one. If you don't come up with anything, then I'm probably just going to call it vlogs because I feel like I just, I'm, I can't think of anything creative for what I should call it. But I hope that you guys are excited for me. Like I said, I hope the ones that really followed me for kindergarten and preschool kind of accept and support me because I am so excited for this new journey and I hope that you guys are excited as well. So again, Kim not believe my name's on it. I wish I would have brought my phone down so I could have shown my mom. But all right, let's go show you my TPT sources that I have already printed out that's back in my kindergarten room on the whole other side of the building. So now that you guys know my exciting news <laughs> and why I've been so excited, I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys a little bit beforehand. I know some of you were like upset because I didn't tell you guys, but the reason I didn't tell you in that last vlog is because it wasn't 100% like set in stone. Now it is. So I figured I could tell you guys now, but I'm really, really excited, like I said, and... Now I'm going to show you my teachers pay teachers stuff I got. Then I'm probably going to get out of here, probably clean off my um, teacher table and then get out of here because I can't even start moving my stuff down that room until the 17th. So it's just kind of pointless for me to be here unless I'm planning, which I was doing that. I need to start planning. So anyways, let's go ahead and get to the fun stuff because now I have these ideas that I want to share with you. So the, what is this? First thing I got from Teachers Pay Teachers, if you don't know Brittany Briggs, you probably should because she's awesome and that, that's where this resource is from. But it is the, uh, what's, what does she call them? Like the Miss Fifths whiteboards I guess they're called I don't know I can't even think of it I don't know they're okay this is what she wrote about them the why behind these whiteboards I pride myself on creating a classroom that genuinely feels like a family a place where students love to be and love the people that they are with a place where students set goals and encourage the other students on their journey of meeting their own goals too I want my students to feel like they are in a safe judgment free zone where they are respected by not just me but by their peers as well each time my class completes one of these boards I feel like my class is getting that much closer to being a true family students need daily reminders about the importance of goal setting reflecting friendship and community they need you to give them opportunities to see how simple actions can truly make someone's day. They need you to make them feel loved and respected and to show the same love and respect for their peers. If you can get your students all supporting and fighting for each other, they're going to carry that with them for the rest of their lives. So I saw these whiteboard messages and I really, really loved them. Let's see if I can show you one. So what she did she gave you like Monday through Friday prompts on just different things that you can do. I'm not going to show too much of it because I don't want, I don't think that that would be fair for her. But like, they have like Marvelous Monday, what makes you marvelous? Um, make a change Monday, what will you change to make today the best day ever? Just different things like that. So I plan to do a lot of whiteboard messages. If you don't know what those are, let me show you really quick. Cause some, oh, I just dropped my paper clip. Some of you may not know what um, whiteboard messages are. So let me get it on my phone and I will show you. 
All right, so. Here is an example of the whiteboard messages. So it says, leave your mark on third grade. How do you want to be remembered? So the teacher puts a prompt up on the whiteboard, and then the students have to come around during morning work. There can only be three at the board at a time, and they write what their answer to the prompt. So that's one option. I'm trying to see another one. Let's see. This one says, we love to read Wednesday. Think of your favorite book. Why would someone else want to read it? And then they have to write their prompt to it. So those are what the whiteboard messages are. So that's why I bought this. It's not focusing, but it just gives me different ideas for each day. So say I'm like on, I don't know, Tuesday, and I cannot think of one. It'll give me all these ideas, and then you just check it off in the box once you finished it. So great idea. Excited to do that with my fifth graders. And then... It's so weird to say, like, I'm excited to do that with my fifth graders. Like, that's weird. I normally say I'm excited to do that with my kinders. <laughs> so crazy. But um, the next thing I got, or am going to do, is a first day of school activity. I already printed it out. I already have it prepped. So, um, basically, what we are doing is I printed it out on these Astro Brights colors. So, these will be hung up around the room. It says first day, each letter stands for something. And then they will get this piece of paper and they have to write their responses on whatever letter the question is. So for this F, they would write their answer on the F line. So I will just show you the um, prompt. So the F says, what is your full name? Do you have any nicknames that you'd like your teacher to call you? Just so you can kind of get an idea on if they have nicknames. I have a lot of names like Rob, Robert. They might be called Robbie. Um, Mackenzie might be called Mac things like that so this one is I how do you feel about your first day are you excited nervous explain why this one is R what is your favorite subject what is your least favorite subject so again these will be hung around the room and they will have to go around and find each letter sorry I'm shaking and um, write about it the S says look around your classroom or our classroom. What is one thing you are excited about? The T says, look around our classroom. What is one thing you're wondering about? So you can kind of get an idea of what they're like. What is that? I want to know what that is. So that you um, know to discuss it. The D is, what have you heard about fifth grade? The A is, what are your goals for this year? So if they have any goals, they will write them in. You can kind of hold them accountable that way. And then the Y is, what would you like your teacher to know about you? So that I can kind of get an idea of, just get to know them a little bit better. And I'm super excited already to read these. Um, I think that they will be fun, and I think my kids will really enjoy them. So I have that. Uh, I, I only have 20 students right now, so I printed out 25 because I didn't know if any new students would be enrolling, and I just wanted to be on the safe side. Oh my gosh, I keep shaking and hitting stuff. Um, but I printed out two of these because this one has more room for them to write rather than this one. So this has first on the front and then day on the back, whereas this one just has first day on one whole page. I'm not sure exactly which one I want to use yet. I can't decide. I think that more room for them to write is going to be better but I like how this one looks better I know crazy I'm a weirdo but I really like the more room for them because I think that that will kind of encourage them to write more so I already have our first day one of our first day activities planned out and then I just have my extra copies right here so I'm going to start this organizational thing where it says like week one and everything I did week one I put in there, I'm either going to do that or I'm going to um, sort it by month and week. So I have a binder full of July and um, whatever I did in July, I have like week one, week two, week three, something like that. Or I'm going to separate it by subjects like reading week one and then whatever I did in reading, um, social studies week two, things like that. So I have my extra copies made just for next year already. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to organize it. But those are the things I got from TPT. All of that stuff is from Miss Fifth, like I said. Her name is Brittany Briggs. 
look her up on TPT. She has some really great resources. And the next thing I got will explain to you why I bought the Polaroid camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I'm ready to go home. And yeah, I'm just ready to relax a little bit because I've been at work all the morning. I've been working at a summer camp. So I am tired. But let me show you this, which I got this idea from Teach, Create, Motivate. Um, I saw it from Miss Fifth again, Brittany Briggs, but she's not the one who made it. Um, teach, Create, Motivate made it, I believe. So let me show you. We are going to have classroom jobs in my um, classroom. And one of the jobs I decided was going to be the photographer. So I decided why not splurge, get a um, Polaroid camera and some film so that right when they take the picture it's already printed and I don't have to do anything else. It's already there and ready for me. So what I saw um, Brittany do is she made hashtags for whoever's job that is. So for instance, hashtag learning is fun. The photographer sees something where they think the picture represents that hashtag they will take a picture give it to me tell me what hashtag is for and then I will end up taping it on there so it's gonna be literally like an Instagram post and I'm going to put this outside of our um, room so that people that aren't in our class can just see what we're doing so I have hashtag we love math learning is fun sitters readies readies readers gonna read um, group work, 5C rocks, because we're 5C for 5 craft, STEM, recess, VIP table, sorry, you see my feet, um, we are family, writing time, historians, leaders, keep the quote, math is fun, reading, scientists, computer time, technology, and morning work. So again, this just says Miss Craft 5th grade, and it literally looks like an Instagram post, and I'm just going to put it outside of my room so say this is the wall outside of my room I'll hang it let me just show you someone might be out here so I will just hang it outside of the door so that people that walk by can see what we're doing in 5c which again just means five craft. So now that you know my exciting news, I have to start taking stuff down because somebody is actually moving into this classroom that I'm in right now. And so I need to do that. But I hope that you like this idea. I thought it was super cute. I need to find a safe place for it because I don't want it to get bent up. And I also want to laminate it so that it's just really durable and so that it doesn't get messed up because that thing was $44 to print out. So, I think that's about it, but I did, that is why I got my Polaroid camera. It's going to be somebody's job in my classroom. Obviously, the expectations will be gone over fully, and I'm going to do a job application so that I'm not just picking somebody random, but it's going to actually be a job application. I'm going to read them and figure out who I think best will um, do this job because this one's going to be kind of one of my harder ones because I obviously don't want this Polaroid camera broken or anything like that. So, I need somebody very trustworthy with this one. I've already gotten my class list and I have um, two of our teachers here, here's kids. So I know those two will be trustworthy. So I have some people in mind who would be good at that job, but whether they want it or not is a whole nother story. So I will show you the job application once I get it like all printed out because that won't be probably until the second week of school. But I think that that's about it. I really hope that you guys liked the haul. I hope you enjoyed my exciting news. I know it was probably not as exciting for some of you because some of you like the younger grades but I am super excited because if you know me like I said you know I've wanted an older grade level and I hope you like my finds from Michaels and Target and I think that's about it I'm probably gonna get out of here I'm going to edit this video go home I need to film a video on my new teacher planner because I got a new one and I want to share it with you guys and then, but I'm not going to do that today, probably. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Because I can do that um, video at home. So, I think that's about it. 
I know I kind of stayed in one spot for this whole video and it's probably going to be insanely long, but oh well, who cares? You guys seem to like the longer vlogs. So I hope you liked my new classroom. Again, if you have any thoughts for the summer series on what I should call it, let me know. And if you have any more requests for videos, let me know as well. I am working on the What's in My Teacher bag. I have, let me tell you what I have on my list so you know. I know that one has been like a long time coming, but I promise I will get it for you. So I have my exciting news one, which is this video I'm putting up right now, so I actually can take that off. I have what's in my teacher pla bag. What's in my teacher bag to do? I have a new planner review. I want to show you my new planner, what's inside of it, and then I also have a giveaway that I'm going to be doing because I got 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much if you have subscribed to me. I cannot believe I got 1,000 subscribers. I honestly thought that I would get like 10. So when I hit 1,000, I may have screamed a little bit, but I seriously appreciate all of your guys' support and you are seriously awesome because I wouldn't be making YouTube videos if it weren't for you guys. You guys really seem to like it. I love having your feedback. I love interacting with you guys and getting your ideas as well. I think that's probably the coolest part for me is interacting with you all and kind of getting your input on things. I feel like I'm just talking to my other teacher friends. So thank you guys so much again for my 1,000 subscribers. Those are the three videos that I have planned to do in the next two weeks but I want to get more in there and then obviously my vlogs that I'm going to do as well but yeah the, I feel like sit down videos are just so much harder than um, vlogs because you really have to like I guess you don't have to but I just feel like it's more work you have to like put the lighting up and your tripod and things like that so anyways I think that I am done here I'm going to clean off this table and then I'm going to head home. Like I said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you along here with me on the journey, especially since I'm doing a giveaway soon. You guys will be able to enter that if you are subscribed to me. And I think that's about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am sorry I cannot talk in this video. My summer brain is like officially on, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!